No, hi. Um, today we're gonna try to swap out a RAM in an all-in-one Lenovo Think Center computer. Uh, my RAM has been um, has been slowing down lately. Uh, it's been underperforming, so I'm gonna swap swap it out with um, the eight uh, gig RAM and see what um, what kind of change that I'm gonna get. I see if I can get an improved performance. Um, so a lot of um, applications, programs I've been running lately have been crashing. And hopefully this activity will uh, fix that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to disassemble. And, um, swap out the, the RAM. So there's this, uh, this screw here, look at it, there's this screw here from the back of this where the stand is, oh, it's already, it's already out, I unscrewed it earlier, so it looks like we're having success here, okay, that comes out, need a separate cover. Out and get that out. Got two screws here. We need to get out. I have. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea here is to. Um, after uncovering this, which was uh, very hard to do, the whole idea is to get to the uh, get to the um, the ramp to uncover. Yes, uh, I'm taking a risk here because I don't have the anti-static uh, electricity strap. I should have one. But, uh, I don't have that, so I'm gonna go ahead and access the location of the RAM. Here it is. It's sitting. It does have um, two clips there in a way it latches on and um, we need to get to those two clips and unclip. Once we unclip we can retrieve the hard, the, uh, the RAM there. So in all in one the location is different as well as the length. If you look at this, the regular laptop will have um, this thing that's twice, uh, twice the length of this one. And uh, it will have twice that length, as you can see. Um, so, so you are your regular desktop if you look at this the length of the RAM I don't know if you can see that would be twice as this this is only one so it has a shorter uh, random access memory so we're going to try to retrieve this uh, if you can see the two clamps there I don't know if you're able to see it it has two clamps here that we are going to unclamp to retrieve it in order to replace. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unclamp. And it has two slots there where you can uh, put. I don't want to put uh, one 4 gig and 8 gig because it will have a negative uh, um, effect on it. The resultant gig will be the lower gig here. So I'm going to keep the only higher one here. Okay, so maybe you heard the click, maybe you didn't. I just depressed the clamp there and look at what happened. The ramp just popped up. So with this, I can retrieve it and then insert the new one which is 8 gig and this is 4 gig so I've had um, 
some issues where my applications were running slow when I tried to run programs they were freezing and crashing and that and they're behaving in very weird ways and I thought maybe my RAM is getting over task because um, you know that kind of behavior can be attributed to overuse of um, overwhelming of the computer resources including the RAM and the processor but the processor here is 3.3 .3 gigahertz which is pretty powerful and can handle heavy loads so I figured maybe the RAM would do the magic and um, hopefully it will take care of it. It's so dim. Uh, okay, they're both so dim. So dim. So dim means a small object uh, dual in line memory module, which is used in both only one and laptops. This work pretty good. Let me put it in. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got the I got the the direction right. Bam! Oh that was easy. A lot easier than I thought. Okay, I'm going to clamp it and bring it out because there's a misalignment here. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out and try to relatch onto the space we have here. I don't know if you can see that. What I'm trying to do here is make sure this teeth matches what is there. So the clamp is easier to depress there, put this in and then re-clamp and it will latch onto that. And then, so you know pretty easy stuff when you look at it. The hardest part is opening this case, the back of this all-in-one computer. Once you go to that part, opening, re replacing the, the memory, the fan, um, the optical drive, the hard drive, it's pretty easy. You know, you just losing one or two screws here and there, and you just take it out and put in a new one. The uh, hard drive does have multiple screws that you have to undo once you, you know, lift it out of this uh, motherboard. And you can easily. Uh, unscrew those four screws and then put in another hard drive. What is this stuff to do when you open this up? So I'm going to go ahead and put in the um, memory, the random access memory, the RAM, and let's see if it latches on. Yep, success. Awesome. Awesome. That was very easy. Very, very easy. Make sure it latches on pretty good. Uh, Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Wonderful. A lot easier than I thought. So that was uh, a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and put the case back in. And make uh, sure it's back there. And there it is. Okay. So this back in place we need to figure out how to put back the the big case right here this big case needs to go back in before the ones in the back will be considered so I'm going to put this one and I'm going to put the 4 gig back in this packet might have to resell it or keep it Somebody may not even want it, but you know, you never know. Somebody may like to buy it for their own or one computer. So, I'm gonna go ahead and um, okay, this needs to find a way back in as a stand for the computer. The uh, installation of the new RAM is complete. So, the, the, what, what was happening uh, was that my computer is uh, showing signs of being overwhelmed when I run some um, some um, big file applications on it it begins to be misbehave 
and um, the resolution goes out of whack. A lot of things start going wrong. Uh, applications were crashing, and I thought that the uh, the measure to take for this is to install a new RAM, 8 gig a bit gig RAM instead of the 4 gig it had before so I just uh, successfully did the swap the computer started back on I haven't done this before just playing it by ear and it looks like it's working pretty good it, it doesn't hurt to try uh, so I'm gonna try this and uh, open it up uh, to check where the gig registers on the screen from the system properties to make sure that uh, it shows up there and I'm going to run a few applications in the future to make sure that the system is not being overwhelmed anymore. Um, I figured that since this has 3.3 gigahertz of a processor, the processor could not be a problem because 3.3 gigahertz is pretty awesome. Awesome, awesome speed. And, um, you know, that gave me the idea that it couldn't, it couldn't be the processor. So with the with the RAM back in place, uh, the new RAM, hopefully the system will not feel overwhelmed then any, uh, anymore. Uh, I don't know if you are able to see what I showed you before. Um, the so dim small object dual inline memory module, which is what we had to install this RAM, about half the size of the regular in terms of uh, physical size, not the not the not the memory capacity. In terms of physical size, is half the size of what goes into regular desktop. This is all in one and uses almost the same kind of uh, this than um, RAM that laptop uses. It's called SODM small object dual inline memory this is 4 gig I just put in 8 gig All right. so I'm gonna go ahead and open up and okay I'm gonna do install now let me uh, get this up and check our installation So what I'm doing, I'm going to systems. And I'm going to put up my system to see exactly what the installation has done. When I uh, successfully registered the NK, I installed. And right there, there it is. I went from 4 gig to 8 gig. Out of which 7.85 is usable, it shows up there. So that's a pretty successful installation. I'm very happy I was able to get that done. Uh, so that's good. Um, this could cost a lot of money to try to get into a shop for somebody to install it. Go to places like in Trex or some other place that would charge. But I'm glad I was able to uh, do it myself. The thirty-seven dollar uh, gig that I bought I had to provide a label myself. And that's a big money server right there. It's good. So instead of buying another computer, you know, this upgrade hopefully will uh, ensure that my system runs uh, more efficiently. All right. Thanks for watching, and uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it, and send in your comments and suggest ideas. I will see you in the next video.